We live drums. Hi, I'm Gary France. Welcome to our continuing set of videos on keyboard percussion. We're going to have a little section which I thought would be fun about the origins of percussion. Uh, the xylophone, an instrument that we will look at in greater detail in a few minutes, where does this word come from? Well, xylo or xylome means wood. And uh, you can see here in front of, and phone is something that you play, so xylophone, something that you play made out of wood. This is one of our early instruments from Africa. This is an African balaphone. And it's uh, an instrument that, that the components of keyboard percussion consist of a wooden bar. Okay, and the wooden bars are carved, as you can see on the bottom. They're carved roughly out of wood. And they're shaped. They have a little bit of a shape. Let me pull it this way so you can see it. Of course, when we see some other instruments, you'll see much more clearly. But you can see that we have, have a shape of the bar where it's carved at the end. You have an arch here in the middle and then a mirror image on the other end. These are suspended by, by rope or by string, roughly like a rope bridge. For our resonating chamber, for our resonators, the things that make our instruments uh, sing, we're using just calabash gourds on this little balaphone. This is tuned in a pentatonic manner. been around for over a thousand years. It's a beautiful sound. You find different tunings all throughout Africa. I spent quite a bit of time in Ghana and brought back a few instruments uh, that, that I thought would be interesting to, to demonstrate and show you today. Let me grab the grandfather of this one, the big one right here. When the balafin grows up, it can become a gil. That's G-I-L. And this instrument, you'll notice, has larger calabash gourds. There are bigger gourds on the side. It's a deeper instrument. A little bit more sonorous. And you'll notice that there's a buzzing sound. roughly one and a half octaves in, in, a, uh, in a pentatonic tuning. And I'm by no means a, uh, a Gilles player, a professional Gilles player, but I thought it would be interesting to demonstrate sort of where we came from, how we get to the xylophone. So this, this uh, Gilles, or large balaphone, and the names are, are different names throughout Africa. You have different names for a very similar instruments. Um, this one is an octave lower than the balaphone that we heard next. Now let's move on. Let's move a couple hundred years into the future, into the mid-1800s to late 1800s, and see what we come up with. We're going to put that down, and I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab our next instrument here. OK. Our next instrument is called the straw fidel, or straw fiddle. Let's get a look at this one. You'll notice that, that our bars are laid out in a different configuration than they were in the balafon. And of course, we have straw. There's layers of straw that the bars are suspended on. Because you'll note that the pitch is quite high, we, for a resonating chamber, we just use the sounding board, which is underneath. And uh, we have the ability on this one to actually remove. There are some F holes underneath here in this xylophone. And uh, I will show you how this works. You can actually remove 
the lower half of our instrument comes off like so so that we can have some more resonance. We maybe would put this on a resonating tank chamber or table and here we see the same F holes that you see in some of our stringed instruments, violins and basses. Isn't that interesting? You would lay your strophidel on your table like so. There we go. And let's see, I've got some mallets here for our strophidel. And this, uh, this is a, uh, we have chromatic tuning on this instrument. Let's just take a quick pause while I grab my mallets. Okay, I found my mallets, and you'll note that they're sort of funny shape. They're, uh, they're sort of little footballs. And, I, and we play in the configuration here, we play up and down the instrument. This instrument, the first time we have it used in orchestral repertoire is in Saint-Saëns, in the Dance Macabre and in Carnival of the Animals. And when it was played, it, it had the illusion of the skeleton's bones. Here we have, let's get a little example of this playing. You know, I have to learn a different configuration of playing. Carnival of the Animals. If we played it faster, and there was a famous xylophone player named Gusakov, a Russian xylophone player who was a virtuoso on the Strofidel. He traveled around Europe in the late 1800s and uh, really brought a great deal of popularity to this instrument. So this is our xylophone. Again, for resonators, we have the F holes in this Strofidel, and uh, and it was played. Much, I suppose, like a cymbalum, like a cymbalum and, or a zither, it has a, uh, a different approach than our traditional keyboard layout. Okay, so that concludes our little section on origins of, of keyboard percussion. We've seen that it originated in Africa with the balafone and gilles, comes up through the strophidel, and, uh, and then our next will be our current xylophone. See you in a moment. Thank you. We live drums.